As the Giro returned to Sicily for stage four, the riders gathered in Catania, ready for three hard days of racing on the island. 3,000 meters of climbs awaited the peloton, and the man in pink, Rowan Dennis, as the riders started their Italian journey, searching for glory. Tim Willens starts to open things up. Tim Willens of Belgium is in the centre of your screen. Michael Woods is just behind. Woods, Willens, Willens from Belgium and Lotto. Tim Willens takes the stage. What a win. Woods is in second place. Of course, I'm very happy, especially because it's already the fourth stage. This relieves us from the stress. Now we can go easy in the rest of uh, the Giro. And often when you don't have stress, everything comes uh, easier. I'm not counting on the Mal Malia Rosa. I'm already very, very happy with the stage win. In retrospect, I'm pretty pleased with my result. I'm pretty pleased with how I performed. I felt like I, I lived up to, a bit to my expectations, but I still wanted to win. Um, my teammates were amazing, particularly downtown Nate Brown uh, and Tom Van Asbrook, but the whole team really helped me a lot, and uh, I wanted to win for them. So coming second was you know, a bit tough, but uh, still I was pleased with how my legs were. A steep climb leading to the final kilometre on stage five forced the field to dig deep, leading to an impressive sprint finish. Battalion on the left-hand side by Otto and Oyambo. Battalion is going. Battalion looks like he's going to take the win for Italy. And Otto and Oyambo. Battalion third yesterday. Looks like he is going to take the win. What an absolutely superb victory. Timed it to perfection. Battalion takes the win. Etna, 2018's first summit finish. A day pivotal in the battle for GC, and EF Education took InCycle along for the ride. It is Esteban Chavez has infiltrated this breakaway. Whoa, we've got two of the strongest Colombian climbers in this breakaway. Look at the face here of Esteban Chavez. 31 seconds to the good. The runner up in the Giro a couple of years ago. He's opened up a bit of a lead, but in doing so, he's going to shut the gap and bring riders across. Well, if he can get across to his teammate, that all the better. A spectacular finale to stage six of the Giro d'Italia. This is what the Giro is all about. Gonna take the victory. I think it's gonna give it to Chavez. Chavez takes the win from Yates. Real class act from Yates to to let Esteban win the stage, and the way they went about it, the way they went about it. It wasn't like I said, it wasn't a planned move, but uh, you got to, those guys have got to be able to think on on the run, and they certainly did. And it's a really nice way to start off our, our campaign to try to win the Giro here. Stage seven saw the peloton transfer to mainland Italy, and they were faced with a pan-flat 159 kilometers. As expected after a grueling Etna climb the day before, it concluded in a bunch sprint. Mordolo kicks, Viviani is on his wheel. Mordolo on the right-hand side, Venturini is there for, for Mordolo. And the Vinic and Bonifacio goes, it is Sasha Mordolo. Mordolo on the left-hand side, Viviani, Viviani, Viviani opens his sprint. Viviani and his belly to the center. What a win from nowhere!
During stage eight, InCycle stopped off to spend time with an amateur cycling club based in Sant'Antonio Abate, which has been the home of Bahrain Merida's Domenico Pozzovivo for the past 10 years. La nostra è una famiglia del dopoguerra che fa attività di ciclismo. E poi nel corso degli anni abbiamo avuto diverse squadre nel nostro paese. Diciamo che abbiamo una cultura San Antonio Abate del ciclismo. E oggi teniamo una squadra allievi giovanissimi e esordienti. Occupiamo i primi posti della classifica nazionale e quindi una grandissima responsabilità mi, mi, ha, mi ha delegato di condurre questi ragazzi. Loro sognano di un giorno di indossare la maglia rosa, quindi andiamo a seguire il Giro d'Italia. And we have a breakaway that has established itself already of eight riders. Some interesting riders in the mix. 153.2 kilometers to go. Sì, beh, fa una fuga abbastanza corposa, a più o meno 42 secondi, il gruppo sta cercando di andare a riprendere. Ma la salita non essendo molto impegnativa penso a Dumoulin, però spero ovviamente in Pozzavivo. Quindi. Abbiamo ancora il fans club Domenico Pozzavivo. Siamo stati i primi a fare il club a Domenico Pozzavivo. There's a crash, we knew they could be crashes. Chris Froome is down. Chris Froome is down, Walt Poles as well. But Chris Froome being forced to chase. We said there's difficulties on this, on this climb. Well, Chris Froome has had a torrid opening to this tour. Ma sfortunato quest'anno, non, non penso sia l'anno di Froome. Non è il Froome dell'anno scorso, questo è sicuro. Anche a livello di gambe, sinceramente. Sì, sì. Spectacular, aggressive performance this is from Richard Carapaz, distancing some of the finest climbers in the world. It looks like with 900 meters to go, he's going to take this stage. He certainly was six solace in at this win. A quite remarkable ride by the Ecuadorian. Bangs his heart, takes the stage. Carapaz is your victor here today. The man the young riders were there to see, Domenico Pozzavivo, crossed the line in sixth. As expected, was greeted with a hero's welcome. Stage nine began in Pesco Sanita, and it was team Mitchelton Scott on top with Simon Yates still in pink ahead of a big day for the general classification. All of the main GC protagonists at the head of affairs. Tom de Moulin looks round. Also one of the riders from Bardiani CSF on the offensive as well. Froome has gone. been detached. He's got Betancourt for company. Simon Yates goes on the outside. Divapino tries as well. Yates on the outside in the pink jersey of the Mario Rosa. Yates is looking remarkably strong, coming into the finishing straight. Pino fights, Pino fights. It is a day again for Simon Yates and the Mario Rosa takes the stage. What a win by Simon Yates. There's not too much for us to do now until, the, until next weekend. When we do get to the weekend, we're going to have to be aggressive again because we know that we're going to lose out time to Tom Dumoulin. That's natural. Everyone is. He's uh, the world time trial champion. So we have to take time and we have to take it whenever we get the chance.